So this app is called Playtime Theatre and it is uh, kind of about putting your own play together uh, or theatre performance and um, let's go ahead and open it up and uh, this is the main scene of the story which is a castle and uh, you can imagine you can do anything you like with this. Everything on the screen is pretty much interactive. Uh, you just touch it and something will happen. Um, which can make it very exciting. The characters are fully interactive also as they can walk up and down the screen uh, and so on and things like that can happen and you can go inside the castle but we'll get to more of that when we actually do the story. First of all let's start off by opening up the big question mark. Um, the mode selector, so there are four types of mode, rehearsal, backstage, record, playback and the button bar. We're going to go through every one of these and I'll demonstrate what every single one does. So let's start off by going backstage and setting up our cast and crew and all the good stuff sound effects. Let's start off with um, what's coming in the, uh, the Make Believe worlds, worlds in the near future. We're playing Castle World right now, but uh, Castle World Courtyard, Castle World Towers, Castle World Forest, Pirate World, Dino World and um, my children seem to be most excited about Space World that uh, hopefully will come soon. But lots more exciting things to come which is absolutely uh, fantastic. So what we'll do here, this, one, this button uh, tells us about the main cast and you can have up to six people in the main cast and um, you basically see the character in the in the center of the screen and when you touch him he will show you his action of whatever he's holding in his hand or whatever he does or she does but if you scroll through their outfits um, you can change this to whatever you would like it to be we'll leave that at that and uh, why don't we give him um, let's give him a club now let's not give him a club let's give him let's give him an axe if that's an axe um, then let's go to character two the damsel in distress perhaps we'll leave that as it is character three uh, we'll leave as is except we'll make him the king and um, give him one of those so that's the main cast now we're going to go and look at the supporting cast and again up to six people can be part of the supporting cast we're only going to have two We'll leave this uh, uh, little character, the knight, as one of them. Um, and we'll go down to the second one. And you can go through and see the different characters. You touch them and uh, they all do something different. Uh, but we're going to pick the dragon because uh, I like dragons. So we'll go out from there. Now we'll go into the sound effects and props. Now you can pick from any of these and put them on the bottom part of the screen where you see the green and the blue buttons. The green buttons are sound effects, the blue buttons are props. You can put them anywhere you like, mix and match, have ten of each, ten of one and you know none of the other or three of one and seven of the other, whatever way you like to do it. But if you touch one of the sound effects it shows you what it does and you uh, you know you basically just drag them to the area, press that and uh, it'll, it'll show you what the sound effects all about. Um, my kids seem to like this one so we'll put that one in and you have other ones across the bottom here and the blue ones are the props. So we'll go to the second screen of the sound effects. There are two screens so you can see lots of really cool sound effects to choose from and we'll now go on to the main cast props. And there's a screen of props that you can change any of these out for and what we'll do is we'll put a goblet in place of the potion um, and again you can, the, the props are good, you can either have a character start the play with a prop or as they go through you can uh, you can give them one of these props um, uh, as the story evolves the last screen is about music cues and uh, this could be like the introduction or the background to the story six different types again you drag them to the orange parts on the bottom when you play one it plays a nice uh, background so a different kind of atmosphere for different kinds of stories and there are six different sounds to choose from so we'll go back out to the main screen 
and we'll turn that off. And um, as you can see, what I was saying was everything on here uh, is interactive. So you can turn the, um, the water um, guy on or off. Uh, you can turn off the, the, arc, the arrow up here. Uh, you can even turn this on and off or make it disappear. We're going to leave everything as it is for right now. Um, what we will do is we'll put, I think, we'll put the princess and the king up here. Um, just for fun. And uh, let's go ahead and go into rehearsal mode. Um, so you've got the people in place and the play is ready to go and you can, you can practice what you're going to do. You can move them in and out, like I said. Uh, all of the things in the picture do something. Uh, it's nighttime right now. We're going to change it to daytime. But you can play around and um, have a look at everything in here. Even these characters will move into uh, different positions wherever you'd like them in the in the scene. And to have him come out, we'll open up this one. And as you'll see, he'll come down the ladder across the turtles that are sitting right there. Or not sitting right there. And as you go this way, he faces this way, this way, he faces this way and so on and so forth and uh, and you're basically ready to start your play everything's in place characters are ready scenes ready so it's kind of act one scene one or whatever it's going to be now the program will let you record for two minutes uh, which is pretty good I've spoken to the developers they're going to see if they can uh, make that a little bit longer uh, in future versions or possibly upgrade this to be a little longer um, it records the version and will keep playing that version until you record another version they are also going to try to make it so that you can save versions of, of your play. So you can record one and save it to a file so you can play it back at another time. But this will play your current version. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into record mode. We're going to do a play, a very simple play, I'll, if I can. And, um, and then we'll play that play back. And hopefully it'll have the actions and the sound effects without my finger being in the scene and so on. Uh, so, um, so here we go. We'll go on the record button. Make Believe Worlds, ready to record. Close the gate. I'm coming, princess. Oh, hurry, I'm really scared. Shoot the dragon, do not let them in. They have been here all day. What are you doing? I don't like you. I don't like you. My voice changed. I still don't like you. I'm going to let him in. I'm coming, my darling. Hello, Mr. King. Take that. No. You take that. I'm not listening. I'm going to rescue her. I know my accent is terrible, but okay. I love you. Thank you for coming. Uh, you are welcome. Oh, excuse me. I did not mean to do that. Let's go quickly before we get caught. Okay. I go first. Hello, Mr. Dragon. I'm coming, dear. I'm having trouble. I'm here. Which way shall we go? Let's go this way. No, you come this way. Are you following me? No, are you following me? Come on, Mr. Dragon, let's go. Okay, okay, I'm going too. Oh, excuse me. I like you as well. And they all lived happily ever after with some very strange accents. The end.
And so you can see uh, you can pretty much make up anything you like and what we'll do now is we'll just go back and unfortunately I'll have to sit here and watch this with you but um, let's give it a shot. And there you go, that's my f first attempt at making a show, but lots and lots of fun, so many things to do, so much more to do than that on there, uh, opening up and playing with the characters, um, really is a blast, and you can watch that over and over again until you record another one. Uh, but everything on the screen pretty much does, um, does something, it's a fantastic app, uh, it's all about imagination, which is so important for kids these days. Um, it's really good. Playtime Theatre, highly recommended. Uh, I know my kids will be playing it for a very long time to come and I can't wait for the other versions to come out. Hope you guys enjoy it. 